Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So before starting the video, I would like to make a small request. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Many people are watching our videos, getting useful information from it, but only few have subscribed to the channel. So I would highly request you to please subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's jump onto the topic for today. What are the tools and technologies that you should learn as a DevOps engineer to get high paying jobs? We will not discuss about many. I'll give you top five tools that are trending in the market and you should definitely learn these five tools and technologies at this point of time as per the current trend to get high paying jobs in DevOps. Number one is CI CD. No matter which CI CD tools that you are using, it can be Jenkins, it can be GitHub Actions, GitLab, but you should be very familiar with one CI CD tool, preferably Jenkins, because Jenkins has more number of job opportunities at this point of time. Again, I stress the word at this point of time, because everything that we are discussing in this video is only relevant to 2023. No one knows what happens after 2023 or in future. Number two is containers and Kubernetes. So again, it can be Docker and it can be Kubernetes, preferably Kubernetes. Uh, it does not matter if you understand the concept of containers using Docker or any other platform, but Kubernetes is the one that you should definitely have good understanding. By good understanding, I mean not just deploying your application, taking a deploy, deploy.yaml file and deploying as a container or pod in your Kubernetes cluster, but you should have detailed or you know you should have good understanding of kubernetes like how does kubernetes controllers work what is architecture of kubernetes how do you extend the capabilities of kubernetes writing kubernetes operators everything related to kubernetes if you have good knowledge on kubernetes then there is a very good chance that you will land into a very good job in devops number three is infrastructure management preferably using terraform because again terraform at this point of time is the one that's most widely used. So I would prefer Terraform as one of the primary skills for infrastructure management. But if you understand the concept of it, if you can do it through cloud formation templates or Azure resource manager, that's still fine, but preferably have good understanding with Terraform. Number four is a cloud platform. So again, it can be any cloud platform, preferably AWS, Azure or GCP. And if you look at the market or if you look at the uh, market stake, AWS has the uh, most number of uh, jobs or more number of people are using AWS. So if you are starting with DevOps right now, uh, or if you are starting with cloud platform, then go with AWS so that again, you get an opportunity with high package. And number five, the last one is to have Python or Go language as your programming skill. So many people have this question again, as a DevOps engineer, should I have coding skills? Is coding skill required? Do I need to learn programming? Yes, definitely you should have knowledge with scripting and programming. If you want to become a DevOps engineer, you might not require knowledge of programming that much. But if you want to get a high paying DevOps job, if you want to stay in the top percentage of DevOps engineers and crack a very good opportunity in DevOps, then definitely have good understanding of Python or Go language. I'm going to make a controversial statement here. If you want to get high paying DevOps job, Golang is the one that's much preferred than Python. The reason for that is, you know, uh, in the Kubernetes ecosystem or in the ecosystem of containers, Go language is the one that, that is most widely used. So even then Python, Go language can give you opportunity in top companies, but Python is, a com is the language that is more widely used. Like if you want to target uh, low to mid or low to uh, just below the high level DevOps engineering jobs, then Python is super fine. But if you want to go to an extent high, and if you want to get into a top uh, top companies like Mang companies, or you know, if you want to get into any open source companies that are dealing with DevOps, then or cloud platforms, then uh, Go language is much preferred. So these are the five top tools and technologies. And uh, one more thing is, when we talk about Kubernetes, I just want to repeat it one more time is not just understanding deployments in Kubernetes, but you need to know how applications are managed in Kubernetes. For example, GitOps. GitOps is the recent course that we are doing on our channel. So definitely follow that course because GitOps is a new evolution of Kubernetes. People 
are using GitOps technologies, GitOps tools to deploy applications onto Kubernetes, manage their infrastructure, the Kubernetes infrastructure especially. So GitOps is the one that you should definitely understand in the Kubernetes ecosystem. And apart from that, keep an eye on CNCF. What are the tools that uh, CNCF is onboarding? What are the tools that are sandboxed in CNCF? So that way you can keep yourself up to date with containers and the container orchestration platforms like Kubernetes. So if you have any questions, definitely put that in the comment section and I'll reply to each and every comment. And if you want to book a session with me, then I'm available on TopMate. You can find the link for my GitOps playlist as well as TopMate for one-on-one -on -one sessions in the description. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll keep doing more such insightful videos and the video on GitOps, the part two or the episode two is going to come tomorrow. Stay tuned. Take care, everyone. Bye.